Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog, man. It's K510 Automotive Group. And today, man, we got a very exciting video, man. As you guys know, I've been um, trying to figure out how to um, approach the cooling system on my E36 with the um, electric fans. I've been having some issues with the um, with the um, the mountain for the the coolant reservoir, and um, did my little research and um, I came across um, the Mishimoto um, electric fan setup um, with the coolant reservoir mount. So today, man, I ordered it and I got it. I got it in today, so I want to show you guys and um, do a little just a little video on. Um, basically the the fan and installing it and hopefully it fixed the problem that i have because right now the problem i have is um i don't have anywhere to mount my coolant reservoir i mounted it like in my uh wheel well but i knew that wasn't gonna work i was just test fitting it trying to come up with ideas and stuff so um yeah we got the uh aluminum radiator installed um so now this is what we focus on right here, man. We're gonna see what's going on with that electric fan setup. So I'm gonna take it out the box and show you guys how it look and how it go, you know? pigtails to connect to those but yeah this is what I like about this new fan shop um, it has the, the mounts for the uh, coolant reservoir that sits in this bracket right here all right guys welcome back to the vlog man I'm just picking up where I left off at um yeah man I had to switch up the radiator um the radiator for my car um yep uh, and just the, this is the reason why I had to switch it up. Sorry, I pulled the radiator out of the car so I can give you a better understanding of what I was trying to explain. So um, this is my um, aluminum radiator. It's like an eBay um, eBay radiator or aftermarket. This is my Mishimoto fan shop. So the problem what I was having was um, with this fan shop. I couldn't get the mountain bolts to line up. You see, it's like all over the place. You see, they don't line up at all. So what I had to do, I had to go, <laughs> I had to go a little crazy, y'all, man. But I had to um, get a, a Mishimoto radiator. So I got the fan shroud and the radiator. And um, I'm still waiting on my um, my coolant reservoir. So when that comes in, um, we'll have the full Mishimoto cooling system, system, you know? So, yeah, everything will be Mishimoto, man. Like the radiator, fan shroud, uh, reservoir, all of that will be all Mishimoto. And everything is direct fit. And then look at the quality of, the, of these parts. You know, this is like a, a metal bracket that the um, electric fan mounts up to. You know, I got a bracket for the um, coolant reservoir. You guys seen what I had rigged up. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm gonna have to pull it out so I can explain it better too. Um, this wasn't, I don't think this would've ever worked cause it's in a wheel well, you know, but, and it's, it's too low anyways. 
I'm talking about the reservoir right here that I had like in the cut, like zip tied and stuff. And another reason why I had to um, replace the um, the radiator was the um, the fan. I mean, not the fan, but the the trans cooler. I had it like zip tied up to hold it in place. You see how firm that is? That's not moving. That's with the radiator out. So this was not moving at all, but this new radiator comes with the um it comes with the the mountain um bracket um for the for the trans cooler where it can bolt up to the uh, to the radiator. So I mean for what I was trying to do, this is this everything plug and play. You know, I don't have to do no modification, I don't have to do no figuring out, I just you know, bolt it up and, and, and install it. But at the same time, I understand like it wasn't cheap. Like these <laughs> these parts are not cheap, and um, they are performance parts. So you got performance quality. So not everybody wants to spend that money there. You know, uh, I'm pretty sure you could probably run a E46 uh, electric fan. You know, find a way to mount it and just call it a day. But I mean, this car is gonna be. I'm just getting it prepped for, you know, I want to drift it, you know, I want to get into that more, you know, so I'm just straightening up all the coolant components. Um, you see, I already got the, um, the water pump installed. It has the metal propeller. Um, you know, no, normally those come with the plastic ones that fail all the time, so. Yeah, only thing left to do, man, is just get the reservoir in, um, and then we'll be ready to go, man, but. On this video, I'm, I am gonna um, I am gonna mock up the um, the new radiator. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be final yet. Um, I just want to see how everything you know fits in and everything go together. I'm gonna see how it test fits. Like I said, I am waiting on the um, the coolant reservoir, and that'll be the complete coolant system package. You know, so I'm very excited about that. You know. So um, let's get started, man. Let me take this thing out the box and show y'all what this thing is, what it look like, and what it do. All right, guys, let me take this thing out the box so I can show y'all. I like the quality of like the packaging of this radiator. Just make you feel like you opening up like you know something that's built to last. You know what I mean? Like that. That's right. Fresh out the box. You know what I mean? Got the plastic still on it. I like that. thing is so beautiful man like the quality of this thing so yeah this is the new radiator right here man and as you guys can see um you see it's the machine model the real deal you know but you can see the rivets on it right here uh, this is what's gonna help the um the uh trans cooler mount up to the uh, radiator um yeah I mean that's the the biggest like thing you can see that's noticeable is that has the brackets for that. And it should be a direct fit for the fan shot I wanna run. So let me go ahead and um let me go ahead and put it together and show y'all how it would look. Sorry, don't no, please excuse the mess man. <laughs> My garage, I got so much going on, I gotta organize everything. But I want to show y'all like how everything lines up with this radiator. You see the I mean it's made for this car. I mean, it's made for this, uh, this fan shot is made for this radiator, so everything is gonna match up. But you can see, like, right here, the bolts line up good. And it's just one unit. The reservoir will mount right here. So it'll, just, it'll be a lot cleaner, a lot efficient. Like I said in my previous video, I do want my car to function and perform, you know? I don't want it to just be half-assed, you know? Going down the road in a damn, you cut a hole into your uh, 
radiator hose, now you're stranded on the side of the road, you know? I didn't want that, so. Yeah, I'm excited to, you know, upgrade my cooling system the right way, you know? Um, like I said, I mean, the quality, you're paying for the quality, you're paying for the engineering of it, so. It is a little pricey, but I think it's worth the buy. So, um, yeah, man, let me install it in the car, boat it up, and um, we just go from there. Alright guys, I just bolted up the radiator, so let me grab it and show y'all how it look. Oh, this thing is just so awesome, man. Like one unit, you just pull it out one piece, you know? Once I get my reservoir, I'll install that one. But this is pretty dope right here. So let's install it. I like that it's just one unit. Once my reservoir comes, Gonna fit in right there, be easy and easy to take in and out. Okay. We got one side in, got this side in. <laughs> and the other thing I like too about this guys is um you guys can see it's a lot of clearance. Now, you know, the water pump isn't hitting before my other radiator was hitting. You know, so we got a lot of a lot of clearance now. You know, I can still change the belts. Even if I have to remove this to do, to do anything with the belts or, you know, I can just pull it out as one unit. So it's a lot, it's a lot more, sorry. It's a lot more convenient with this style type, this style of radiator, you know, easy to service, you know, so. All right, guys, so we got the trans cooler mounted up correctly. So we're just going to run it down with the impact there. You just want it snug. You don't need to impact it too hard. Just run it down. That's good enough for me, you know what I mean? It don't need to be too tight. But yeah, it's in there firm. It ain't going nowhere, man, so I'm excited about that. No more zip ties. Everything just look a lot more cleaner, you know? All right, guys, so I kind of like this installed my um, my stock reservoir for now. Um, this is just, this is just going to be like a, um, a quick video. Um, I do have to wire up the fans and um, bleed out the cooling system. So this video is just going to, I'm just showing y'all the upgrades for the um for the e36 the new radiator uh new fan shroud um yeah let me just show y'all what, what we got man so all right i mounted up the um the oem uh reservoir it has like a little bracket where you can mount it up and i ran the hoses for it so when i get my um my expansion tank from Mishimoto. Um, yeah, we're just gonna install that and then we're gonna connect the fans and get it all situated. Pretty excited about these new parts, man. Um, this looks so much better, man. Like everything functions, everything works. Um, let me get a light. Everything works, man. So that's what I'm happy about. Got enough clearance for the water pump. It's not rubbing. The reservoir has a mount. See the hoses are connected. It got a little bracket. And this is all temporary. Um, so it's temporary for right now. And um, yeah. So it's so much cleaner, you know? So yeah, man, that's it for this video, man. And um, that's it for this video, man. And um, if you can make five, you can make 10, man. You know, keep going up. You know what I mean? Keep flipping, keep stacking. You know what I mean? Just don't give up, man. Cause as soon as you give up, that's when everything's over. So peace, see y'all in the next video for part two.